So, I'm Fairy Sarina, and I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Call of Cthulhu. I'm going to be trying to get the Farewell Achievement, um, which means that I'm going to be doing the uh, It's Over ending. Um, I might possibly do the some of the other uh, endings as well, like the default ending, um, just so that y'all can see what it is. Um, this is based off of HP Lovecraft's uh, the Necronomicon and uh, his Call of Cthulhu Mythos. Um, so if you want to look into that, uh, it is a horror RPG and um, there's going to be a lot of um, body horror, gore, um, there's going to be some institutionalization as well, so if that's going to be something that's going to upset you, uh, you totally don't have to, to watch. Um, and uh, yeah, so also, there's going to be a few racial slurs as well. Um, yeah, so just so you know, up front, what's going to be happening here. Um, yeah, so uh, let's enter the madness. Okay, I'm going to do a new game. Yes, I want to overwrite. So. Um, this is Chapter 1, the Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. Uh, Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case to help lift him from his uh, torpor. Uh, Pierce uh, must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Oh no. Probably the alcohol. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who, in his callousness, can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Like I said, it's going to be gory and weird. So HP Lovecraft really liked doing um, unexplainable horror. Um, a nice, uh, uh, lighter, less problematic version of HP Lovecraft's kind of um, horror would be uh, Welcome to Night Vale. It has similar unknowable vibes but with less racial slurs. Much less. So. Less sexism as well. Anyway. There is going to be um, some jump scares. Well, I, it's been a while since I've played this. Now to the darkness, you must... Light up some items in order to interact with them. Alright, let's take this. I got a hurricane lamp. Alright, we're gonna take that. Oh look, there's a fucking door. Clippy clippy, motherfucker. Does it now? Uh, I don't like the boomy voice. The boomy voice can go away. Whatever you think of me. Really? It looks pretty big to me. Oh, gross. What else? Don't fight. You have been chosen. What? Get out of here. It's creepy. Not scary at all. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Mm -mm -mm. It's Squidward. He's pissed. Uh-oh. 
Just a PTSD oh. nightmare. Nothing to worry about. All right. I hate whiskey. Oh, bullshit. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. So I have a new place I can check out the journal and I will in a sec, but I'm gonna look around his place first. Nothing interesting. The Wentworth here. Agency doesn't attract top notch cases. Certificate of Membership, Wentworth Agency, United States Detective Agency, Boston, Massachusetts. It is October. Of course, I it's used October. to be an avid reader. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. I agree with you there. That's Married there. woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Uh, the husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept calling me weeks after the inve investigation has been closed. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. You really did like to read. Oh, what is this? I should get rid of all this stuff. Yeah, maybe. It looks kind of... conspiracy theorist. Ugh. Anyway. Get out here. Ooh, hey. Can open that. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case. But when you when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against private a private detective who's got proof against you. Yeah. I want me to answer the phone, but I don't want it yet. I want to drink the beer. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Oh, hey. Journal. Okay. So, I have the um, case. That's the heading I'm under right now. Pierce Investigation Agency is the first place that I've found. Um, and so, as the date, uh, the 20th, 20th of October, 1924, Pierce Investigation Agency, the doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Who knows? All right, so then we have Pierce. This is where we can um, put... Uh, uh, skill points in um, to get certain stuff. Um, this is our sanity. It shows um, um, which mental traumas we have. Right now we just have nightmare. Um, and each of these traumas is going to affect you differently. Um, so the nightmare one, Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War where he took part in the uh, Musée Argon Offensive. Uh, he is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion, American unit that suffered heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery uh, fire. Forced to hold their position for several days, surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades, without food or medical supplies, the soldiers were considered uh, as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. And then this is... Um, how sane you are, which also affects gameplay. Uh, you're confident in your abilities and your Cartesian mind. Uh, you conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts, your convictions and your perception of reality. Your conclusions and logic are reliable. And then this is Dark Water. Um, this is uh, where we'll, we will be uh, eventually going and then we have our inventory so I have my lost battalion lighter um, I have two closed cases and, uh, yeah now yeah. have a drink Alright, let's 
let's grab the snow. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? Yes. That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sherrifield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. Oh, there's a problem? The fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? Mm. I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Okay, so I need to allocate character points. Um, ba -dum bum 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 bum. Yeah, we'll start there. Turn to validate. We're gonna be extra good at the spoopy stuff. On a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. Mm. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're really? Not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Okay. Pierce, you do I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? No. Nope. Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police Everyone. accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. Is she it? would never have done such a thing. But if you have the proof, I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me. Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. All That's right, all you've got? The, the painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. All right. That's What's the this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Wait. I consult the diary. So, um... Uh, a strange picture painted by Sarah Hawkins a short while before her tragic death was sent to her father just after the artist died. He is convinced that she is the sender. He brought me the painting so that I could examine it. Stephen Webster, the wealthy industrialist, came to my office. He wants me to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case, named after his daughter, who died in a fire alongside her entire family. I must examine the documents he compiled in order to know more about the case. Okay, also... Alright. 
painting by Sarah Hawkins. This painting depicts a monstrous silhouette threatening a woman and child. Uh, flames can be made out in the background. Stephen Webster, the father of Sarah Hawkins, thinks that it is linked to the death of his daughter. Um, okay, so the intuitive and visionary artist for someone overpriced imposter for others. Sarah Hawkins leaves nobody indifferent. This mysterious and reserved painter offers strange images with violent colors and wild strokes to the world. Uh, if her paintings are a testimony to her vision of the world, then the world of Sarah Hawkins is a portal open to another dimension. Extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce, Private Detective. That's the occult that we have so far. Have another drink? Damn it. Oh. A warehouse on Darkwater. Alright. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Alright. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out uh, part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. Uh, a police report. It says the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental uh, frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live uh, a reclusive life there with their only son, Simon. On? No? Sometimes there's things so, on the back. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Um... Uh, I read about her mental fragility in the police report. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Uh, where does Sarah Hawkins live? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Right. Find out about Warehouse 36. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Shouldn't take this painting late. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. Aspect. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Something's not right with this Her story. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. All the I think I'm I need. beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. 
I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer, but it's not like I have a choice. That weird painting. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Alright. All that remains is to leave for dark water. I certainly I'll certainly find something on dark water in my bookcase. Okay, now we have inhabitants of Darkwater. We have Stephen Webster. He's 63. He's a businessman, a wealthy businessman, well respected in, Bo in the Boston area. Stephen Webster came to see me in order that I investigate the death of his only daughter, Sarah Hawkins. The man accepts neither uh, refusals nor inconvenient truths. He is ready to do anything to prove that his daughter was not mad. We have Charles Hawkins. He was 41, a ship owner. Charles Hawkins was a local celebrity on Darkwater, uh, the heir of a ship owner family. He used to travel a lot. He met Sarah Hawkins during a trip in Paris. Uh, they fell in love, got married, and Hawkins took her to the remote island of Darkwater. They had a child named Simon, and they lived a very secretive life. Uh, we have Sarah Hawkins, who is 33. She's a painter, and she is dece deceased. The um, Sarah Hawkins, a painter known for her tortured artistic universe. She was worshipped for uh, the strangeness of her work and the rarity of her public appearances. I seem to remember that she once said, I paint what my dreams whisper to me. Her marriage to Charles Hawkins was years ago. Surprised high society uh, columnist, a wealthy Boston heiress, known for her party going, chooses to follow her new husband and live as a recluse on an island on the island of dark water she disappeared from the front pages of newspapers and nobody heard any more about her even her death in a fire remained a secret only her father stephen webster continued to seek the truth okay Is there anything else I have more clues um already read that. Oh, we have Simon. Um, Simon Hawkins uh, was 11. Schoolboy, only son of Sarah and Charles Hawkins. He died in the fire that claimed his whole family. Eight. For dark water, find some information of the dark. I used to be an avid reader. Dark water is off the coast go. of Boston. Found it. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. Okay. And it seems to have been shunned since then. So, this is from the Atlas of the Atlantic Islands. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving uh, evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their good their gods were a gigantic creature still ornates the walls of a long abandoned caves was it a was it a sea or a dream god no one knows but today's inhabitants the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small island off the coast of massachusetts all I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Should we leave now? Da 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 da! Need a point. Now we're on chapter two. Dark water port. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue she left uh, her father. A disturbing painting. On the shipping label, an address. A warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation.
Who's there? Up Starkwater we go, I guess. Not creepy at all. That's not ominous. Nope. Not ominous at all. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Scylla. Well, that's a fishing boat if I ever saw one. Guys coming to unload. <laughs> Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Thanks. Why, thank you, Captain Potter. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story. All prefer to forget. I bet. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. Well, that's creepy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick me up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll uh. find me at the harbor master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Oh, do you? Understood. Now? I'm going for a look around the docks. Okay. I talk to this dude. Go to the bar, talk to Bradley. Okay, can't talk to that guy. Seems to be a commotion over there. Over that dead whale. Okay. What's this? This? I cannot. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Alright. That way, yeah. So you're all just angry looking people. Okay, cool. Good to know. We'll go to the bar first. That was a long ass trip, and I want to get drunk. How very welcoming. Hey, be careful. Okay, so we got some balls. Oh, who's this lady? I like her lip gloss. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. I'm not a troublemaker. It wasn't me who went looking for him. Yet you served this man, and you can't say he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. You mistake my manner. I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult if you refuse to serve me. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Try me. <laughs> we'll see. Did that work out for me? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? 
Oh, sure. Only a small glass. I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. Okay. Here, having a drink, sees. Chug a lug. I think we'll get along well. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no I didn't expect to after? find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll Fair tell enough. nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Um, find out about dark water. Find out about uh, Sarah Hawkins. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Um, it's not ill if it's true. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? It's true that they were strange. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, Who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Enough said about Sarah Hawkins. I've got what I need. Anything else? Um, why the Stranded Whale? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. Fair enough. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time. All the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I can order another drink. Um, Warehouse 36. That'll be all for now. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. Captain Fitzroy was $12. Charles Hawkins was 68. Um, something Winchester was 9, and Andrews 6. And Baker always free. This Baker always free. Okay. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. Yes, you are. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What is the song? I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. 
Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. The end of whaling? What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. All right. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Horrifying, whatever he's reading. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Alright, so, article on the miraculous catch. The shanty. Uh, first, 21st of May, 1847. Miraculous catch. The Scylla returns to port to save dark water from famine. We had given up hope. The crew of the Scylla, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater Port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whales and the crustacean that is already being called the miraculous catch, covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging off over the side of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also its meat, unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefit. There is no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the, fam the famine from which part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mrs. Marks is putting up uh, Mr. Marx is putting up his warehouse for rent from June for fishing, workshop, or storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Um, special evening at the Stranded Whale. To celebrate the return of our brave whalers, all of the staff uh, of the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional free tasting event. Come with your family or with your friends to taste the miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Mates. No right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. You saw. She will do it again, you know. Who? The girl doctor. Cold. She won't stop asking. Not that again. She will get us into trouble. Uh, I know, I know. Great. Uh, I'm gonna go to my journal real quick. Darkwater docks. Uh, on the approaches to Darkwater, I saw thick clouds masking the sky. They were low. They were so low, they seemed intent on impaling themselves on the sharp reefs that circled the island. Fitzroy, the captain of the only tub that manages to float to the mainland offered to help me. He may have documents that belong to Charles Hawkins. Fitzroy advised me to visit the port's bar. He mentioned a little pick-me-up. I suppose I could get the lay of the land at the same time. Fishermen have gathered around the carcass of a killer whale. I could have a look and see what the local cops have got to tell me. Captain Fitzroy offered to share with me um, what he found on the Hawkins. In the archives of the harbor master. I have one point available. My sanity and I, it's fine. I have no extra traumas. Nope. I want to push enter. 
Yes. Five more. Okay. We have Roy Mitchell. He's 55, the owner of the Stranded Whale Bar. Roy Mitchell uh, runs the only bar on dark water. Prohibition has no hold on the Stranded Whale, and the sailors come to seek some comfort in Mitchell's whiskey. The man therefore knows more than anyone. The secrets and rumors that inhabitants of the island exchange after a few glasses. Mitchell is devoted to the golden age of, whale of the whaling hunt. If the numerous trophy trophies that decorate his establishment are anything to go by, the man will freely talk on the subject of which he is so keen, but he will be far less enthusiastic if one was to inquire about the source of his liquor. Uh, it would seem that the island of dark water, um, okay, so the, the island of dark water, it would seem, it would seem, the, the island of dark water, it would seem that the world has forgotten the very existence of this isolated rock off the coast of Boston. It is a small, inhospitable island whose coastline is made up of steep cliffs, sharp reefs, uh, and with only one outlet to the sea. It is mainly inhabited by the descendants of whalers who set up supply posts there in the 1800s. It was hit severely by the collapse of this activity. I think that the only venture on the island that is still profitable is its medical institute. Darkwater Port. At the entrance to the uh, at the entrance to the port of Darkwater, one still passes in the front of the shell of the Scylla, the last whaling ship to have brought back a catch. Sailors wander the docks looking for some small job for the day. A gang of bootleggers have set has set itself up there and is gnawing away at the territory of Captain Fitzroy, the last sailor to own a boat capable of making the round trip between the island and the mainland. Here, the golden age of whale hunting is but a distant memory. Stranded Whale, a bar where liquor is served with total impunity. It's the last thing I expected to find when I arrived on this island. The Stranded Whale is its name, and it's managed with an iron hand by the owner, a certain Mitchell. He does not tolerate troublemakers, and he fiercely protects the identity of his supplier. All the inhabitants of the area seem to go there, and I even saw what looks to be a truce between the bootleggers and the sailors. The Miraculous Catch The Miraculous Catch is what the locals call the last catch of their whalers. In 1947, in 1847, although whales were disappearing from the fishing zone of the dark water, dark water whalers, the crew of the Scylla made a gigantic and monstrous catch that saved the island from famine. They still celebrate this catch, and an article from the Times still decorates the bar. It's strange how the memory seems so alive, as if it was maintained by the survivors. Extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce, private detective. The Shanty. I already read that. And then we already read that. So, go talk to this lady. What you looking at, stranger? Uh, what's a woman like you doing in a place like this? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. Fair enough. I told you to beat it. Okay, maybe. I've collected all of the information I can from here. Alright, let's go talk to the cops. Find out about this whale thing, because honestly, look at this. Please move back. Let the police do their work. Hey, Sullivan, can't you go any faster? You see how 
old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. You're not sailors. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Uh, ask about Warehouse 36. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a okay. sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Great. Go into the harbor office, I guess. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. Cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier, Cats. Asilla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Hey, I found a medicine book. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. In the photograph, a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. There's nothing on the back. What a macabre souvenir. Interesting in there. Yes, that's it. All right. I'm just gonna look around. Is it anything else that I can take? Nope. Okie dokie. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. Oh, I have But in truth, helpful. you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Okay. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Okay, so where's the old man? There he is. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. I bet you do. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Um, uh, your document, your documents are unreadable. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? 
Um, what did Charles Hawkins really do for a living? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? Um, ask him about dirt. Uh, Warehouse 36. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Um... It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Talk about dark water. Um... This photograph looks strangely like I was you. looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. Hmm. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Um, I saw the killer whale on the wharf. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. What would have killed killer him? Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth, and that shelter creatures unlike any other. Mm. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. Why are they putting it back into the sea? The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Uh, what is the Miraculous Catch? The Miraculous Catch? Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Who's I cat? found a threatening letter. Signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Okie dokie. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Fair enough. Alright. One CP available. Forget it. Different from this one. Okay. James Fitzroy, age 45. His occupation is Captain James Fitz. James Fitzroy is the captain of the uh, Charbitus, the only boat that still sails between the dark water and Boston. His base is the harbor master's office, from where he misses nothing that happens on the island. The inhabitants of dark water respect him, but the bootleggers despise him. He offered to help me in my investigation. Second volume teaches ethics and good practice in medical science. Oh, 
Okay. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way. This person. Talk to them. Where do you think you're going? Uh. Others are interested in the warehouse? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? We're on you the and same I team? are on the same side of the law. Oh, yeah? You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying our work was not up to snuff? Forget it. What are the police doing here? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Uh, what do you know about the Hawkins case? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. I'm not quite eloquent enough to get in there yet. I talk to you. No. How about you? Nope. Hmm. Take it in. I got in. There. Find hidden item. Hello, old friend. Uh, got a bottle of liquor. Weird. Weird writing. St. Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Hmm. Desecrated. That's not... gets out, I'll have serious problems with you-know-who. I... How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? Uh -oh. I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? Do what? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. Who's St. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. 
He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Find out about the island. Is this where you live? House. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Fair enough. So you don't have any work? Isn't that a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. Uh-oh. So we drink. That's St. Brendan. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. St. Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Who are those guys that are keeping guard? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Who's Cat? Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. Nope. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Bye. Hey. Damn stupid idiots. Get it. Oh, hey, I can go that way. I mean, I could go tell Cat. I talk to you? You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't yes, hang I around did. here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. Uh, I'm not scared of their boss. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand... Knows around too much, you'll have dealings with her. I have no dealings. Um, what are the bootleggers doing around here? This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I shall take my leave. A handle. A it must come from these old winches. This ratchet device seems to be usable. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. I could use this old one. Now the ratchet device.
It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Be up top somewhere. Where the thing is. There we go. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Alright, I think I figured it out. I knew I was missing something. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. Let's try. Damn, I broke it. Good job. I broke it. It did not work. Well, I guess we're not going that way. Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. See? You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What Am gave I? you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Has the cat got your tongue? Hmm. You've come for a fight. What I've got to say won't change a thing. You're a quick sure. learner. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. So you're Cat. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Ow. She hurted me. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Uh oh. Ugh. I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. All right. Come on, you could tell me. Now, who's this guy? No idea. You bet what's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I'm not wandering I'm around like a hungry dog. talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. But you who defaced the statue? I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors. Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Um, work for Cat? Cat. She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. Ooh. <laughs> She redid the smile of the last one who wanted to get in. I hope he had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> who does this so belong to? You? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. Are and you? we let no one enter her property. Hey. Okay. 
This passage leads to the Hawkins warehouse. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Cat sent me. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh, yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. Okay. Is he now? We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told him that flunky that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. You continue like that. What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. Uh-oh. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post. It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We'll return right after. It's just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. It's something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so... openly. But it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. I thought she was the biggest danger. Is that more dangerous than having a drink with you? I'm not kidding. The old families? They were here long before us. And they'll be here long after we are gone. The old families? The descendants of the first whalers. These people truly worship their ancestors. You must know Darkwater well. I've got a few questions about the island. I'm not here to give you information. Mitchell will tell you what he wants to tell you. Um, I need to get into the warehouse. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Um... But would I have taken that risk or no, not at all? Think it over. I've seen what risk. you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well... I see you're serious. I am. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you, to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you. You'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Yes. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. All right. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later... All statues get buried in bird shit, and nobody cares. And the police? 
They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where Fair their enough. interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley, I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. that beast back in the water, you shysters? You're crazy! They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Great. Come on. Faster. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. He told you Cat sent me. Damn motherfuckers. Why are you breaking in if you like that's on your turf? Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Yes, mommy. the creepy building we go oh this place stinks what is the oh, connection lovely. between this place and the sarah hawkins case do a reconstruction if i want that's not creepy at all Let's see if there's anything okay let's do a reconstruction See what happened. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Le petit Paris. The le petit Parisian. It smells as bad as it looks. Who has enough money to buy painkillers that stays in a place like this? What happened here? Oh, didn't like the mirror. Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. The cold is. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? We search the warehouse. Okay, I'm gonna go to my turn. I learned nothing from Fitzroy's documents, but I did get confirmation on what I been su suspecting since Boston. The warehouse mentioned on the shipping label of Sarah Hawkins painting flunks to the Hawkins. It's on the docks and must find a way to get in. A gang of bootleggers occupies the warehouse zone. Of course, they're standing between my trail my trail and me. Gotta find a way to avoid them or else get rid of them to continue my investigation. Before I get to professional level eloquence. Alright. Cat. 
age 24, gang boss. Boss of a gang of bootleggers, which seems to use dark water as a hideout. Cat always keeps an eye on her territory. The zone of, of abandoned warehouses on the docks. I have the impression that all the men on dark water fear her. Even Mitchell, the owner of the stranded whale, is reluctant to talk about her. She uses dark water as the point of her departure for her cargo of whiskey, and she is slowly gnawing, slowly gnawing away at Captain Fitzroy's territory. St. Brendan, does the patron saint of whales and whalers still protect the sailors of dark water? Visibly, there were other gods before St. Brendan, uh, and their worship does not seem to be of this opinion. The locals still worship the old saint, but the mark was made on the statue by another cult. Extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce. Uh, Hawkins Warehouse, officially unused since, the, since Charles's death. Uh, this warehouse recently housed a clandestine resident. Signs of life attest to the fact. The presence of the bloodstained bandages must also be noted, probably removed from a wound, as well as pills, painkillers, and sleeping pills. Moreover, the occupant seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins, as attested by the presence of several documents connected with the artist's life. Photograph, press cutting, but it is the discovery of a partly charred painting, recognized by Officer Bradley as having come from the Hawkins Mansion, that allows all the doubts to be lifted as to the link between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case. Okay. Shit. Not the way out. That's the way out. Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't uh -oh. move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Um. Let's team up. It's clear that you knew the victims. I'm sorry to dig up bad memories. I can still see the poor child lying burned on the floor of their drawing room. We had to tear him off. The marks must still be there. Ew. They're in my mind anyway. It's horrendous. I'm going to need your experience to bring him justice, Officer Bradley. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. Uh oh. Hi. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why, you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. I'm sure. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on. Wow. We got some driving to do. 